In this video, I'm going to walk you through a script that does a forward dash, as well as a slide that has automatic fall detection. So as soon as it detects it's no longer on the ground, it'll cut the animation so it'll go into the midair falling pose. All right, so for starters, I have an animation event layer. I call it parkour, and it has dash pose and running slide. That's it. So I'm just going to do these two things. If you look on the player character, sure enough, I had dragged that in. And so there you go. It's right there, dash and slide. And down at the bottom of this, which is the character object, I've got a script called character helper utility. And I'll go ahead and walk you through what that does. This one does a, so I have some settings that you can change, which is how long you want the dash to take in seconds, the speed you want during the dash. So I have it set to 10 meters a second. And uh, then I have a slide speed boost for when you execute the slide because it is root motion and which is often really sluggish and slow. And so this gives you the opportunity to add additional speed to the uh, to the slide animation. And that's it for the public facing parameters. So really how it works is as long as you're grounded, whenever you hit the letter Q, you can do a slide. It only works if you're grounded, and then that allows you to do, it stops any speed boost that has been occurring from a previous move, and then starts a new speed boost, and I'll show you what this worker does, but it's starting this coroutine, and I'll walk down here to the speed boost. All that coroutine does is forever and ever, it just adds whatever your character forward facing direction times the amount of uh, speed over the delta time between this frame and the previous frame. So it's just adding that uh, fractional speed onto what you're doing for that portion of a second that accounts for the frame rate. Then if you press E, it's going to do a dash. And so we just, again, we're starting a coroutine for the dash worker. And all it does is play a loop for the dash pose, the very fast um, transition in time. And then for however long you've set for the duration, it just does those moves to make sure the dash is actually moving forward while it's playing it. And then, uh, stops it at the end and that's that's really it um, the other thing that happens if we go to the update function is if we're sliding we just check if we're grounded and if we're not then we're going to stop the parkour event layer and that's it um, let's see here and that stops any speed boost with the stop coat routine and then just re resets everything else so that you can go back and do it again so now let's go take a look so i pulled down two Two animations. I have the running slide for Mixamo. And I've cut that at frame 36 because he just kept on running. It wasn't really, it wasn't clean enough and I wanted to get back into the run. So I, I brought it to right about here. You'll notice he's not quite up yet, but that causes a smoother transition and you can just tweak and tune that to your taste. And then for the dash, I'm doing a single frame. It's called male look motion pose. And it has nothing and i've got that set to baking rotation setting an original nothing big same same for this it bakes the y dimension so there isn't any but if there were it just keeps everything nice and flat on the transform on the root and then additionally no rotation because we don't want it to snap at the end let's go try a slide with the q key yeah that's not bad looking good so let's come up here and let's try this automatic fall detection. See, as soon as he falls off the edge of that platform, he just goes right into his fall, as you would expect. Now let's look, there's our dash. You can do it while you're airborne too. You can do one after the other. However you like it. And that's really it. Obviously, you could, uh, we could change out that dash animation. I'm sure the joy one would look fantastic. And that's it.